So there's one last one here at the end of this around evaluation. Um, so the final step in those four steps is, is about e e evaluation. So there's within a match e evaluation that I, I described when you're actually okay now it's like it's between games and every time between a game is like what's working what isn't and make the appropriate adjustments. Um, or you could also you, I, I actually think it's better to phrase it as what's working and what can I improve on because that's more growth minded. The what isn't is very that's not working. It's to me it's not I don't have an issue with that but other people when they hear that it's more more positive to say well what can we improve on because uh, that gives you that that it's still a positive movement i can improve on this that's a positive thing um this isn't working that's a negative thing so it's always best to keep things positive within your mind because then your mind will keep positive and you'll be able to play in in, in in a positive manner anyway so the evaluation um i recommend you definitely keep notes or keep record of each tournament you go to each big event, um, even maybe even each pra practice session as to what was working, what can you improve on? <laughs> um, and then make notes as to what adjustments you need to make. Because for me, tournaments, I went to tournaments like maybe three, four times a year. So they were like months apart. And it took me to doing this for a while to realize I was making the same mistakes tournament to tournament. I was in final points, shooting quicker, I was falling for the pressure. I was still playing well, but it wasn't apparent apparent why I lost or why I was consistently kept losing the same way. Um, like one tournament, I'd be playing Billy, whatever, and it was the last shot, 4-4, four, four, fifth game. And I I think I made a note about something like, and and you shot quick again. I made I made a note where finally I, I realized through don't, going through this devaluation over, over the months and years, that I realize that again, this is again, I'm doing this. So this makes me realize I need to fix this. I'm making the same mistake again and again, and it's costing me important matches. So then I can now, now that I've realized this, this is what I need to work on. It's just that, just that alone will help me next time. And it did help me next time where it's like, okay, it's four, four. It, it, it's that, that it's this point. Just focus. What it is you're going to do? Take your time, make your read, maybe even call a timeout, come back from the timeout go through the read again, take your time so he doesn't know when it is you're gonna shoot and make your choice and execute. That's a whole different process than, uh, that's four, four, I better shoot. Like it's it's a whole different men, 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 mentality. The whole, of course I don't think like that, uh, that's four, four, but that's subconsciously, I think that's what's happening. It's the pressure, once you release the stroke, when you're not in a properly focused um, mentality, the, the muscles react differently, they get tense, you might overdo it. I find that's one of my habits. Either I get tense and I the muscles get in the way of the execution of the shot, or I overdo it, um, trying to maybe overcompensate for that 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 pressure or whatever. Um, but once you're focused, it's all it's all good. Um, so it's that evaluation. So definitely recommend you take notes from from um, tournament to tournament about maybe who you played, when things went well and where you could have improved on things like what what did you feel okay in this match i forgot to do this that was one thing i always found is the matches i lost were the matches i didn't go into with a game plan because it, it's hard to go into every match and come up with a game plan every match if you come up with a default game plan then then good i never did that and maybe i should have um but the matches i came into a game plan with especially all the big matches and you say big match i shouldn't say that all matches are the same but all the the matches against the very the very good players like Rico and all the pro masters I played, I always have a game plan going into those, so it was much easier to play. Um, where the re regular run of the mill, where you're playing other pros and other semi pros, maybe that might not be, they're not lower players per se, but you should think you should probably beat them. And I might not have came up with a game plan within those matches because um, you just get into the habit of, oh, next match, go to the next table, play. It's you know, sometimes you don't have time. Anyway, so it's those things I even I, re I noticed through taking these notes and e evaluating post tournament, doing post tournament e evaluations. I noticed that uh, I was losing matches where I didn't have a game plan, so that made it very apparent that game plan is very important for me because it keeps me keeps me focused, lets the player just play, um, and it also it makes sense to have a game plan um, as opposed to just let's play by feel and see how it goes and make adjustments as as we go. Um, for some people that works for me, for me, it didn't, uh, not, it wasn't the most optimal. So that was the evaluation thing. So I'll share, I think maybe in the comments or something, I'll post them. Maybe I'll comment, I'll share a, uh, a, uh, Google doc, uh, public link to where I kept all my notes. Um, they're pretty rough, but they I think you'll get the gist if you read through them, um, from tournament to tournament, what I was trying to do. I would even have notes. So this is my plan for this tournament. 
and I had post post tournament notes as well as to what happened, who I played, um, where things could have improved, where things fell down, um, and uh, hopefully it makes some some kind of sense. So, anyways, so that's the full thing about the mental game. Um, hope I described a lot of it well. It's it's a big topic. I try to put it in, into groupings and and um, try to be helpful. But if there's definitely more you want to hear about, maybe even on maybe the strategies, my shooting strategies that I used and how I switched between them, I could do one on that. Um, but that's just that's so specific to the way I shoot. So I don't know if that's going to be broadly applicable. But anyways, hope you enjoyed these uh, few videos. I'll probably be a few videos. There's probably quite a number of minutes, but um, if you have any more ideas, I'm, as you can see, willing. Um, we've got a lot of spare time. Um, so uh, hope you uh, enjoy them. And uh, definitely, if you have any questions, um, ask in the comments. I'm, I'm more than willing to respond these days. Um, not as busy as I once was, so I will definitely respond to comments more. Um, but thanks for watching, and uh, hope you find some value in it.